funds are like your fixed deposits. They are like your EPF funds. So PPF is per se a great product. We all hear about our families investing in, but there are certain better options. But let's talk about fixed deposit first, okay? So what's wrong with a fixed deposit? Um, it's writings on the wall. We earn what? 7%? Whoever does a fixed deposit. Yeah. We do 7%, 7, 7 quarter. That's what we are getting. It's fully. Yeah. I know, which is so painful, right? So, yeah, I know. Talk about it. So, all right. So, what is a fixed deposit? Let's understand that. We are lending money to the bank. Very simple. We are a lender. We have a bank. And bank ne uske liye humko bhiyaj diya. Really simple. Now the thing is, we are giving money to the bank as a retail investor or a retail depositor, as, as the bank calls it. So the bank pays us whatever it is. Now whether our relation with the bank is for 10, 15, 20 years or whether we are, we are giving them 1 crore or 5 crores or 50 crores, we still get the same rate. So what happens is, instead of being a retail depositor, I advise everyone to become institutional investors, institutional depositors. Now there's a very interesting thing that happens here. <coughs> Sorry? There's a minimum amount for institutional. The minimum amount is as less as like 50,000 or one lakh. Is it? Yeah. So what happens here, it's, it's beautiful. And this is where mutual funds sort of come in. And mutual funds come to our rescue. Now what a mutual fund does is, a mutual fund collects money from a lot of people, right? So. I will leave this fixed deposit hanging here for a minute. It's important to know what a mutual fund is just for the sake of completeness and then we'll sort of fuse both these things together. Okay? So what does a mutual fund do really? A mutual fund is collecting investments and money from all of us. Let's take a name. Let's say XYZ mutual fund. Let's say ICIC mutual fund just to make it simple. So an ICIC mutual fund would collect money from us. And they have floated maybe like a hundred schemes. So we, as an advisor, would tell you that if this is our requirement, let's buy scheme number 43. Yeah, it's very simple. Now, what this mutual fund will do is, he'll collect the money and he will, based on the instructions written on that scheme number 43 document, the investment will be done. So let us now extend this thing and say, if scheme number 43, the objective of that scheme was to invest in fixed deposits, then what would the ICICI mutual fund do? He will buy fixed deposits for us. Right? Okay, so I have made a very interesting and important observation here. Mutual funds is not equal to stock market, is not equal to making a loss. Which is the popular belief. Yeah? I mean, you're nodding so very vehemently. I mean, so mutual funds is a collective investment vehicle. They pool the money together and then they go ahead and invest it based on the objective. So mutual fund is simply like a car. You sit in your car and you can go to Churchgate, you can go to Borivali, you can go to Andheri, you can go wherever you want. You just have to take a different road. That's what a mutual fund does to you. He takes your money and takes your instruction, where do you want me to invest it? And he goes ahead and invests it. So where can you invest through a mutual fund, for example? Fixed deposits. You can invest in government securities. We can invest in equity market. We could invest in the American equity market. We can invest in gold. We could invest in the Hong Kong market. We could invest in the Brazilian market, in Japan. We could invest anywhere in the world by putting money into a mutual fund. So whether it's an HSBC or whether it's a Reliance, we choose Reliance Japan fund. So the money that we will give to Reliance in rupees will be invested in the Japanese stock exchange. If we write a check and say Reliance gold fund, the money will get invested into gold. So it's really our choice of where we would like to make.